Good evening. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Stu Scheller, United States Marine Corps. I'm the current battalion commander for Advanced Infantry Training Battalion. I've been in the Marine Infantry for 17 years. Started my tour with Victor 1-8. It's the current unit that's doing perimeter security, dealing with the mess that's going on there. I, you can see open source reporting that there was an explosion and some people were killed. I know through my inside channels that one of those people that were killed was a someone that I have a personal relationship with. Won't go into more details because the families are still being notified. Not making this video because um, it's you know potentially an emotional time. Making it because I have a growing discontent and contempt for my perceived ineptitude at the foreign policy level, and I want to specifically ask some questions to some of my senior leaders. And I'll say, as a person that's not at 20 years, um, I feel like I have a lot to lose. If you play chess, you can only see two to three moves out because there's too many variables. I thought through if, if I post this video, what might happen to me, especially if the video picks up traction, if I have the courage to post it. But I think what you believe in can only be defined by what you're willing to risk. So if I'm willing to risk my current battalion commander seat, my retirement, my family's stability to say some of the things that I want to say, I think it gives me some moral high ground to demand the same honesty, integrity, accountability from my senior leaders. And so I want to start with, we'll just use the Marine Corps, my, we'll just stick with the Marine Corps. So in the current fallout of Afghanistan, a lot of Marines were posting on social media and in response to that, the Commandant published a letter, which is the service chief of the Marine Corps. And I want to read from it. It was dated 18 August, so only a week ago. The Commandant, sir, you wrote, some of you may be struggling with a simple question. Was it all worth it? We want you to know that your service is meaningful, powerful, and important. You fought for the Marine to your left and the Marine to your right. You never let them down. And then you go on to say that, you know, if we're, we're struggling, we should, we should seek counseling, which, you know, I get it. People have killed people. Um, I've killed people and I, and I seek counseling um, and that's fine. There's a time and place for that. But the reason people are so upset on social media right now is not because the Marine on the battlefield let someone down. That service member has always rose to the occasion and done extraordinary things. People are upset because their senior leaders let them down and none of them are raising their hands and accepting accountability or saying, we messed this up. If an 05 battalion commander has uh, the simplest live fire incident EO complaint, boom, fired. But we have a secretary of defense that testified to Congress in May that the Afghan National Security Force could withstand the Taliban advance. We have chairmen of Joint Chief, who the commandant is a member of that, who's supposed to advise on military policy. We have a Marine combatant commander. All of these people are supposed to advise. And I'm not saying we've got to be in, the, in Afghanistan forever, but I am saying... Did any of you throw your rank on the table and say, hey, it's a bad idea to evacuate Bagram Airfield, the strategic air barriers, before we evacuate everyone? Did anyone do that? And when you didn't think to do that, did anyone raise their hand and say, we completely messed this up? I've got battalion commander friends right now that are posting similar things, and they're saying, you know, wondering if it, all the lives were lost and, and if it was in vain, all those, all those people that we've lost over the last you know, 20 years. And he goes on to say that we're all part of a chain. While every link may not be tested, the strength of the chain is only as strong as each link, and you got to be, you know, good link, something like that. And what I'll say is, and from my position, potentially all those people did die in vain if we don't have senior leaders that own up and and raise their hand and say we did not do this well in the end. Without that, we just keep repeating the same mistakes, this amalgamation of the economic slash corporate slash political slash higher military ranks are not holding up their end of the bargain. I want to say this very strongly. I have been fighting for 17 years. I am willing to throw it all away to say to my senior leaders, I demand accountability.